Aubrey O'Day continues to go after Diddy after this whole bombshell lawsuit was settled with Cassie. But I'm wondering, is she also putting out the message, boycott Diddy? What's up, y'all? It's your boy Pascal back at it again with another pop-up video. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias. The Pascal Show, one word. Hit that like button down below. And let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube and if you're watching on Facebook to my Facebook fam. Please be sure to crush that follow button on my Facebook page if this is your first time checking out this channel right here. Yeah, anyway, we got to jump into this story. As you already know, Aubrey O'Day has been very vocal ever since Cassie dropped her bombshell lawsuit claiming some very unthinkable things against Diddy. Now, we've seen these interviews where she's been on various podcasts putting in her two cents about Diddy, and uh, it seems like his way of trying to cover his tracks. But now she is still out here saying even more stuff. And the question is, is she saying boycott Diddy? And also, is she saying boycott anybody who could be involved in this situation? I got questions. I definitely got questions. One of the posts that she put up on her story is this. Now you can see it's 50 cents post, but he says, if you text this, it means I want my money by tomorrow. And then underneath it, he says, I'm not waiting till Monday. But then underneath that, she says in a post here as well, she says, Fiddy, the text didn't work. Please help Danny D. Kane, Day Six, Donnie Klang, the band. Thanks. Now, listen, when I see that post itself, clearly she's sitting here going, wait a second. Here's another guy who knows some stories, who has received content that is definitely telling and admits or exposes a lot more about Diddy and his relationship with Cassie, at least, and these parties that he was having confirming certain things when it comes to that. Aubrey is sitting here saying, hey, this man could help. He could maybe help these other bands, these other groups get the justice that they rightfully deserve as well. Not only just from SA or, or any criminal charges, but also financial as well. You got to remember in the video that I did about Aubrey O'Day, please go check it out. It's it's kind of a deep dive into everything, uh, especially her interviews. But one of the interviews, she talks about how in this NDA that he sent out to all most artists that he worked with, he says, I will give away uh, the the revenue, okay, the residual uh, residuals to you guys that are on these streaming sites to you guys, as long as you write the sign this NDA where you cannot speak about anything disparaging about me or anyone else connected to bad boy records and all that stuff for eight nine hundred dollars a month it's trash guys it's absolute trash so of course she's sitting here going hey no like we should get what we deserve we should get the justice that we absolutely deserve as well but then she puts something else in another post which i gotta be real this speaks volumes guys Let's take a look at that. So in this post, it's a little bit longer of a post, but she put it in her story and it says, 16 plus years of loyal fans, I ask you to respectfully consider this. All of your coins spent on us directly supported or support Diddy and everything he just did. Not a dig, just a fact. You should be aware of next time you think to stream or buy your faves music. If you want to help the systematic problem we clearly were just whiplashed with, look into or ask your fave artists what money actually feeds them so you can help them stay healthy and not fall victim to being dependent on any executive remaining silent right now in this trash music industry. Pass it on. Man, there's a lot to dissect in this post. And, and, and the question I think that a lot of us are wondering, is she saying boycott Diddy? And then on top of that, is she saying, matter of fact, boycott anybody who does does dirty out here, okay, in, in the record and music industry? Now, the thing is, is yes, we all can agree that the entertainment business, the music industry, wh what have you, can be really dark. There is a dark, deep deep, dark underbelly of nasty stuff going on in the entertainment industry, for sure. We all know this information. But what's really frustrating is about the artists themselves. A lot of them get used up. 
and then thrown out and they're left high and dry. They're left high and broke on the side of the road while these executive producers are living fat off of those record those records that they made with those extremely talented individuals. We hear this story countless times where groups will go out on tour and when they come back, they're thinking they're they're about to be properly minted and only to find out that they're still in debt or they're more broke than they were when they left for the tour in the first place. We hear that story a lot of times. A lot of this stuff happens to these artists countless times and it's very very messed up and sad but you gotta wonder there's a lot of bad people out here in the music industry let's keep it real we already know that okay they just haven't been unearthed they haven't been exposed and i guess she's trying to find a way to get those people exposed as quickly as possible the other thing though too is a discussion on independent artists and 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 you know be, being successful without a label can that happen i mean we have plenty of independent artists out here that have found success but then eventually some most of these artists if they want to cross over if they want to become more mainstream they have to sign with the a record record company but then that record company takes all the money and screws them over it's a cyclical thing that just keeps happening over and over and over again and it's frustrating but imagine if you are an artist and you're being forced or coerced to do things that have nothing to do with your artistry and they're filming these things or they shadow ban you they 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 push you down they push you off to the side they blackball you out of nowhere and so you're sitting there having to work at a Starbucks all over again it's really really messed up but she's now sitting here saying you ask your artists who they are working with where that money that you are giving to them, that stream, every time you click that play button to listen to that one track that you really love, ask the artist, who is actually getting paid? Is it the artist or is it the executive or the record label? And I think that's a damn good thing to point out. But then the other thing too is, is she saying boycott Diddy? You got to remember, it's a lot of Diddy. Diddy tracks. There's a lot of tracks that are overseen, okay, by Diddy. That's a lot of music, y'all. It's a whole lot of music. But hey, I don't blame her for saying what she's saying because hey, let's be real. The only way, if they can't get him criminally, the only way that they can really take this man down is through his pockets. And if it means to stop playing his music, that is an option. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Where do you stand on this? I, I understand. It, it makes us think of Aura Kelly, you know what I'm saying, and the whole mute him uh, movement that happened back in the day. I get it that some people basically separate themselves from you know the real person to the music and all that, and, and that's up to you guys. But when you hear something like this, it, it is a good thing to think about. Are you really supporting your artists Are you when you're playing their music? Or are you supporting the people that brought them on to the stage in the first place? Because a lot of these people are still broke as hell out here. Okay, we all know the infamous TLC story, all right, where they went on tour, found out that they were still in debt, even more in debt when they finished the tour kind of thing. It's sad and it's really messed up and we hear that story over and over and over again but now that we have somebody who is known to be uh, an alleged monster okay do you support the music or no i leave that up to you but aubrey o'day is out here and she definitely wants to expose some ish and get some of this money away from diddy as quickly as possible it's a tactic it's an it's a tactic indeed anyway guys that's the video comment down below let me know what you think hit that like button down below and let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if you're watching on youtube if you're watching on facebook crush that follow button on my facebook page it'd be great to have you a part of the pascal show family on both platforms anyway guys it's time to get going be good to yourselves be good to one another and i'll see you guys in the next video this is the pascal show bye 
P-A-S-C-A-L. You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We be going wild.